cold winter's morn in 1641. My lovely Anne was taken by Okan, taken and defiled at the point of rebel gun, and drowned in the murky river ban. Hundreds more were taken at this date, butchered and drowned or buried in the sand. O'Neill's false promises ensured the same fate. I cursed his papist army to a man. Then one day on the horizon I did see a hundred of our ships all coming to my land. And off he stepped, protector of the realm, and he smiled and placed a sword into my hand. We marched to Drogheda, to Weston's guarded town. Together we stormed it, with Cromwell at the helm. He screamed, you butchers, remember Porter down. I'm Cromwell, protector of the realm. And now I go with flowers to see my lovely Anne. I go and tell her that her death was not in vain. I tell my children about the Lord Protector and how he saved our people from the same. Britain has had some pretty good kings and queens, Elizabeth I and Alfred comes to mind, but the Lord Protector emulates them all, Oliver the top one you will find. Cromwell, Cromwell, the greatest British king, Strong in his beliefs, he never let us down. He fought for his people and he rid us of O'Neill as we took our due revenge for Porter Down. Cromwell, Cromwell, the greatest British king. Strong in his beliefs, he never let us down. He fought for his people and he rid us of O'Neill as we took our due revenge for Porter Down.